So um, this is what happened uh, yesterday. Uh, uh, DeSantis was asked about this whole issue with Trump and the, the, the approaching indictment. And, and of course, he said, well, you know, this is politics. You know, he, he kind of uh, uh, brushed it aside. It's not that important. But then he said, <laughs> which I think is brilliant, he said, um, and this is DeSantis, he says, what goes into paying hush money to a porn star to secure silence over some type of alleged affair, I can't speak to that. <laughs> now, that is a jab at Trump. It's subtle. It's nicely done. It's nicely placed. You have to give, you have to give DeSantis a thumbs up. Now, I, I wish he'd been more explicit even and gone after him even more. He did accuse Soros-funded prosecutors of weaponizing the office uh, in the name of politics and so on. But, uh, but this idea of what goes into paying hush money to a porn star to secure silence over some type of alleged affair, I can't speak to that. That's, that's a beauty. That's a beautiful zinger uh, basically saying, yep, Trump, this is what happens when you, do, when you have affairs with porn stars, and I wouldn't know anything about stuff like that. This did not please Trump. Trump was furious by this. Right. Furious. And this is what Trump wrote. And this tells you everything you need to know about Trump's character. And this is why Trump is not qualified, never was qualified, to be president of the United States. And with all due respect, I don't care what anybody says, including people who I generally admire in other respects. This this should, you know, this kind of scumbaggy mentality which, which Trump has, the lowest of the low, is awful. Frank, my volume is the same as it is every day. If I raise it, it'll stop peaking, uh, so I'm, I'm, not, I'm not going to raise it. This is what uh, Trump answered. Ron DeSanctimonious, I mean, just that childish teenage TikTok mentality of calling people names, coming up with nicknames that you think are smart, uh, that did him very, very well in the election in 2016, and why, again, I think uh, he is disqualified from becoming commander-in-chief of, of the United States military, the, the, the president of the greatest country that's ever existed in human history. This guy is just... Ugh. I mean, Ayn Rand, you can't even imagine what she would think of this, of, of, of how low and disgusting and pathetic and, and just horrible a human being he is, never mind becoming that good. So he says, Ron DeSanctimonious will probably find out about false accusations and fake stories, all capitalized, by the way, fake, fake, false accusations and fake stories, sometime in the future as he gets older, wiser, and better known when he's unfairly and illegally attacked by a woman, even classmates that are, quote, underage or possibly a man. I'm sure he will want to fight these misfits just like I do. And that is posted above a photo of Ron DeSantis with some of his students, I guess, drinking <coughs> a photo that uh, Trump has released in the past, kind of suggesting that, that uh, DeSantis... Um, um, the DeSantis uh, was uh, was partying with underage women, and maybe men, um, uh, you know, in, when, he, when he was younger and, and a teacher. So, <laughs> I mean, here it is. I mean, uh, this is a veiled threat. He'll probably find out about false accusation of fake stories. I wonder who will spread those. Um, and uh, about uh, a, a unfairly and illegally attacked by a woman even classmates that are underage or possibly a man. I wonder who is going to spread those rumors. I wonder who's already spending those false accusation fake stories. Maybe they're true. Who knows if they're fake? Who knows? Anyway, that's your Trump. That's, that's the guy who, uh, uh, you know, anyway. And, and by the way, this is Trump responding to the potential, um, the potential indictment. Uh, he says, there was no crime, and remember the same animals, animals, District Attorney of New York, and thugs that would do, the, do this to perhaps 200 million people. But actually, all Americans are the communists, Marxists, rhinos, and losers 
that are purposefully destroying our country. And our nation is now third world and dying. The American dream is dead. They're killing our nation as we sit back and watch. We must save America, protest, protest, protest. Of course, uh, you know, here's a guy who's going to be indicted um, because of something he clearly did. It, it, the argument is not about whether he did it or not. The argument is about whether this is indictable or not. And what's he telling his followers? Go and protest. Go and protest. Go and, uh, you know, and, and America's failing and only I can save it, which is a, a, a lot of, you know, real, real, real crap. Thank you for listening or watching The Iran Brook Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbrookshow.com support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see The Iran Brook Show grow, please consider sharing our content, and of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.